Hello again. Today I'm going to do a video just kind of showing how to convert a standard Timex watch or really any other type of watch into a watch that's a little more suited for backpacking. I know one thing I really missed when I was on the Appalachian Trail was a watch. I didn't have one with me. And it's, it's a good thing to have. Sometimes you need to wake up at a certain time so you need the alarm function. It's also good to know what day it is. That was something I struggled with pretty often. And uh, and time. Time is always good, knowing when you start, when you end. Sometimes people take note of that in their journal. But anyways, what I'm going to do, I've got this old watch that I don't use anymore, don't really wear it, because I've got, it's actually the same watch, but just a different version without the metal on it. And uh, so what I'm going to do is convert this one to one that I can use backpacking a little more easily. And when I'm backpacking, I don't like to wear anything on my wrist just because it gets so sweaty and just kind of gets clammy and un uncomfortable. So what I'm going to do is make this watch into one that I can hang from one of my pack straps. And to do this, all you really need are a lighter, a maybe one foot length of paracord. This is 550 cord. You can see the inside there. And... I'm just, I just use this small knife to open up the little pins on the watch. So the first thing you're going to need to do is take off the band on the watch. And all watches work a little bit differently, but pretty, almost all watches use these little pins here. And what they are are just little pins that push in on both ends. And so to remove the band from the watch face, you just have to take something kind of pointy and clip that in and push it out and then it'll pop right out. So I've already done that with this watch. So you can see here, it just pops right out. You can see down here where the pin would normally go and the holes in the side of the watch where the pin locks into. So you just need to take out both pins on both sides. Pretty easy stuff there. And... Pop the wrist part off. There we go. So you have your band. You won't need that anymore. Maybe save it. Might use it on a different watch. So then what you'll be left with is just the watch face. A really lightweight watch. And this is a great watch if anyone is looking for one. It's a Timex Ironman Triathlon. And it's got timers. It's got the alarms, the date, the time. And it's waterproof. 100 meters, I think. Yeah. So it's a pretty good deal, and it's normally around 30 bucks maybe. But anyways, once you get the band off, you're going to want to put these little pins back into the holes they were in without the band. And to do that, it's pretty easy. You just stick it in the bottom hole, push the springs together, and push it down. Well, maybe it's a little harder to do than I thought. And there you go. Push it right into the hole. And they're, it's locked back in there pretty solid. So then you just do the same thing on the other side. And you've got another solid bar there. Now that part's done. You're going to take your piece of paracord and strip out the inner cord. So you're just going to be less left with the sheath. So once you have the inner workings out of the paracord, you're going to be left with this little sheath like this. And while it doesn't have any of the strength that the paracord with the actual rope would, it's got plenty of strength for what we'll be using it for. So just take the two ends of the paracord, meet them together, and find the halfway point. And you're going to run this halfway point through the bottom side of the watch. So, see how it's facing up? You're going to first run this through this under this bottom rung down here. And it helps to have something to kind of poke it through with. It's kind of a tight fit. So I'm going to just use this knife here. And just feed that through. Like that. And then loop this around to make a lark's head around this little pin. 
So you just pull the paracord through the loop, tighten it up, and you don't want to put too much pressure on these little pins. They're not made to hold a lot of force, but you do want to get this nice and tight down around there. Okay, so now we have a lark's head on the bottom of the watch, and all we have to do is feed these two pieces of paracord up underneath this top pin, and we're almost done. So once again, I just take the knife and push that down under there. And once you get both pieces of paracord through, they may be a little bit off on the length, so just trim them up with a pair of scissors. And what, what you're going to want to do is seal both of these ends with heat, kind of melt them together so that they don't start to fray or unravel. So just take a lighter, and this does get hot, so you might want to do this with something that's not just your hands. But just heat it up and kind of pinch the ends off real fast. And that'll keep those ends from fraying and unraveling. You can see how they seal up really nice. So once you have that done, just take the top end of these two pieces and do a little square knot or any other knot you might prefer. Then run it through itself. Get it nice and tight so it doesn't come undone on you. So once you get that knot tied, you've got a secure watch that's perfect for backpacking. It's not going to get sweat trapped under it or get in your way. It's just nice and easy. And to secure this to a pack, what you would do on one of your pack straps like this, on one of these nice little horizontal lashing points, all you have to do is just run this piece of paracord up through there and then loop it around the watch face. Lark's headed onto this little strap here and you've got a watch that's going to stick with you. That's not going to come off no matter what. And you've got the time, you've got the date, you've got timers, alarm clocks, anything you would need all right here and in a very lightweight package. And speaking of weight, let's go ahead and weigh this here and see how much it actually weighs. So that comes in at 0.7 ounces. Can't really beat that for all of the different functions you get. So anyways, I just figured I would show this little tutorial here. I'm sure most people already know about this, but for those that don't, this is a good way to save weight and have the time with you on the trail. Stay tuned, there will be a lot more videos coming out soon, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you later.